In the previous example, we demonstrated how to use an existing map layer, such as the soil type layer, to create a management zone. In this tutorial, we will create management zones without the aid of any other layers. Starting in the map section, make sure that none of the layers are active, meaning that the layers are not highlighted in gray. Then click the management zone editor icon. This will open the editor and load only the field boundary. For this example, we will create some management zones to define tillage operations. First, I will turn on a background map to use as a reference. We are going to split this field into zones, so clicking on the Split Polygons tool, I will click outside of my field boundary to start the split, and then double click outside of the polygon where I want the split to end. We cover the split tools in more depth in the field boundary tutorials. We now have split this field into two zones. Activating the Select tool, we can highlight each of the zones. For this zone, we plan on minimum tillage, so we will give it a user-defined name of Min Till and hit Apply. Notice that a legend classification is now added to our Values section for Min Till. Selecting the other half of the field, we will name this No Till and hit Apply. Again, a classification for No Till is added. We can select the zones by clicking on their classifications or select the zones by clicking directly on them. Let's grab the Split Polygon tool and add one more section. We will click outside of our field boundary and then double click outside of the min till zone. This has split the min till zone. However, notice that the min till is still applied to both sections. Grabbing the select tool and highlighting the bottom zone, I will add conventional till just to make everyone in the tillage wars happy, then hit apply. We now have three different tillage zones across the field. I will dial down the transparency so we can more easily distinguish the zones. With the zones defined, we will click Save, and for this example, assign the tillage zones to our 2015 crop season, then name it Tillage Zones. We have now custom defined some tillage management zones. Again, note that these zones do not appear in the Maps section. A management zone is moreover a conceptual idea. Later, we will populate the management zones with the data, at which point they will appear in the Maps section.